Hey everyone, welcome to Giftology. I'm John Rulin. Business leaders use words like employee and client retention as if it's some sort of science experiment. What they don't know is that retention, or lack thereof, is a symptom, not a cause. In other words, your business doesn't have a retention problem, it has a loyalty problem. Stick around and we're gonna talk about it. Why should you care about loyalty? Real simple, because loyal people try harder. And to borrow a quote from one of my favorite movies, Office Space, what do you think of people that only do the bare minimum? Think you're gonna build a business with those people? Here are 13 ways your clients and employees try harder when they're loyal to you. Number one, they'll listen to your upsells. Thinking about your clients here, they'll trust you have their best interest at heart. So when you say, hey, I have an idea I wanna run by you, may or may not be a good fit for you, but you're one of the first people I thought of. They're not gonna ghost your calls, your texts, and your emails. Number two, loyal people don't keep secrets. Leaders that build loyalty hear things like, I wanted you to be the first to know, or you didn't hear this from me, but they give you insider information. You'll be the first to know that your B2B client CEO said something in a boardroom that could spell victory or disaster for your company. If you're an executive managing a team, you won't get blindsided from behind the scenes chatter because you already heard all the details. Leaders with loyalty are never the last to know. Number three, loyal people do what they say they're gonna do because their word given to you actually means something. They stay later, work harder, and they do the job well. Loyal clients sign the deal when they say they're going to and they don't play games when they're doing it. Number four, they're available when you need them. Leaders with loyalty get moved to the top of to-do lists. One way to test how loyal a client is is to call, email, or text them, start the timer, and see how long it takes them to get back to you. Number five, they'll remember you when somebody has a problem that you can solve. Oh, my high-earning buddy makes an off-handed comment about not having enough saved for retirement? Dude, you gotta talk to my advisor. He's the best. If your clients aren't referring you organically to other people, you have a loyalty problem. And guess what, it can be solved, but not with a crappy referral incentive program. Number six, loyal people actively seek out others to refer you to. And that's because most loyal people give referrals without asking. Because you or your brand delights them so much that they wanna spread the good news of you or talk about you as an employer or as a service provider. Not because you asked, but because they wanna help you and they wanna reciprocate and give you a gift. Number seven, they write reviews and give testimonials without prompting. If you're awesome at what you do, you'll get a few, but if you're awesome and you inspire loyalty, you'll get hundreds without asking. Number eight, they'll have hard conversations with you. They don't play games when it's time to say something serious. They don't give up on the contract and then go dark. They don't suddenly not show up for work and then ghost you when you try to contact them. Even if irresponsible behavior is normal and acceptable to them, <laughs> they can't do it to you because they respect you too dang much. Number nine, they'll let you off the hook when you say or do the wrong thing. Hey, as a business leader, sometimes I fly off the handle and I say something or do something that I regret. But the people who are loyal to me, they'll forgive me and move on. People with loyalty have shorter memories and they don't hold grudges over trivial crap. Number 10, they'll introduce you to the best in their network because they're proud of the relationship they have with you. If you're not networking on autopilot, it ain't because you're not friendly. It's because your friendly stops at friendly and doesn't make it to loyalty. Number 11, they'll do the thing that nobody else wants to do. I think of Lucius Fox in The Dark Knight where Bruce Wayne asked him to do some illegal cell phone data to find the Joker. He didn't want to do it, but he did it. And at the end of the movie, his loyalty was rewarded. Are you rewarding people for their loyalty? If not, you need giftology. Number 12, loyal people defend you without being asked. To them, staying silent is not an option. And number 13, they'll stick with you when times are tough. I think of Jerry Maguire's glorious exit from his old company. And he asks, who's coming with me? And it's quiet. And it's awkward until Dorothy Boyd stands up and says, I'll go with you. That's loyalty. 
And it's not something you can ask for, it's something you have to inspire. So if you get nothing out of this video, please remember this one big idea, and that is solving a loyalty problem is very different than solving a retention problem. Most businesses think the surefire way to cure retention issues is through some type of patronizing incentive or a rewards program. These programs aren't gonna get people laying down in traffic for you like Lucius Fox or Dorothy Boyd. If you wanna inspire loyalty in your business and solve the retention problem once and for all, then do two things. First, subscribe to this channel and check out our featured loyalty playlists. And second, schedule a no-cost loyalty planning session today so we can meet you where you're at and help you figure out your next step. Check out the links in the description and let's bring your business to places you never thought possible.